All right, everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how social media is ruining your development as a trader, especially if you're a beginner and trying to learn, okay? And so I have some notes over here, but the first thing that social media does is that it ruins your ability to focus. And so these apps, you have to remember Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all these things, they are designed to hijack your attention, okay? And also, when you're on these apps, you're usually opening up a dialogue with other traders, and this is going to cause you to second guess yourself and your own abilities, right? I can't tell you how many times I've gone into these chat rooms, discords, social media, Twitter, whatever it is, right? And I've been in these rooms and I post my trade setup or I post a trade idea, right? And someone else has the opposite thought, right? They, I might think the market's gonna go up, they think it's gonna go down, right? And so here I am thinking, oh, well this person thinks, uh, I might be wrong, right? This person might think that, um, you know, they might be better than me or maybe they, they, they know something that I don't, right? And then the trade plays out, turns out I was right, they were wrong. I didn't take the setup because I had a conflicting bias with somebody else and I second guess myself, but I listened to this person over here, right? And I missed out on making money. So you don't wanna open up a dialogue online with other traders, especially if you're trying to learn and especially if you're new, right? So you also don't know if that person has been putting in the work like you have and you just don't know their situation, right? They could be more experienced, yes, but maybe they didn't see something that you saw or maybe they don't know jack shit, right? And you have been putting in the work, but here you are second guessing yourself off of something um, that someone else said and they have no clue and you are the man, right? You've been putting in the work. So um, that's just a personal example, right? I've been in these, these Discord rooms and it's been challenging, especially when I was new, to block out the noise, right? And focus on my own development. So not only is it hard to focus, but it's also gonna open up a dialogue with other traders and you just don't know, right? You just don't know what kind of work they've been putting in outside the charts. You could have been putting in all this work and, right, you second guess yourself, so. Um, but you also gotta remember, right, if you're online and on these apps, the majority of traders fail. And so if you're online, you're subjecting yourself to all this nonsense, right, all this drama. And a lot of people, since majority of traders fail, are projecting their own insecurities out onto others online, especially on Twitter. Twitter's super toxic. Um, I gotta take breaks sometimes, right? But you guys have to remember, majority of people fail, and so when they see you doing something that they can't do, they're going to project their own insecurities out onto you. So that's something you don't wanna subject yourself to either, especially if you're new, right? So you gotta remember, um, this toxic environment is gonna do more harm than good, and so you want to water the grass that feeds you, okay? You don't wanna be spending time on the bullshit over here or on social media over here arguing with some strangers, right? And you gotta remember, no one else can trade for you. So you need to water the grass that feeds you and that's your own development, okay? If you're comparing yourself to others, that's a big no-no, right? Because what that's gonna do is, we've all heard the saying, comparison is the thief of joy. And so when you're comparing yourself to others, what that does is it causes you to underappreciate your own development as a trader. And then you start looking and comparing yourself to other people who might have been in the game longer than you other people who might've made money that day and you didn't, right? And so what this does is it causes you to underappreciate your own progress. And you end up setting unrealistic expectations for yourself because you might see this guy over here with 30 years of experience and here you are with maybe a few months under your belt and you're looking up to him comparing your progress to his, but he's been doing this for decades, right? And so you need to look at yourself, keep your head in your own business, don't worry about what other people are doing, right? Yes, social media is a good platform. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of good people to learn from, but you want to steer clear and reframe your mindset, right? From looking at other people and comparing yourself to their journey versus yours. Because you could be in a whole different scenario, a whole different stage of life in your development as a trader versus somebody else over here. So along with those unrealistic expectations, it also looks like everyone's killing it, right? No one has losses, everyone's taking winners, no one loses a single trade, and that can't be further from the truth, okay? Everyone has losses, and you're just seeing the highlights on social media. 
You're not seeing the losses, you're not seeing the break-evens, you're not seeing the, the trades that go in your favor and then come back and stop you out uh, for a small profit, right? You're only seeing the big winners, and a lot of the times you're seeing a lot of, um, a lot of fake stuff too, right? People passing off profits that are actually demo trades. You're seeing a lot of people who are just showing executions, but they're actually just showing demo trades. You don't know how many trades they've lost before that, right? They're only showing you the highlights. And so if you want to keep it real, you have to look at the content online with that in mind, okay? Always be questioning what you're seeing, right? Because not everything is true, especially if you're seeing someone with empty four screenshots, right? Passing off $1,000 to $100,000 uh, flip, right? All those things, right when I see those, red flag goes off in my head and I'm saying, okay, right? This, this, might, this might be possible, right? But is it likely? Is, did it actually happen? And are they showing receipts? And if not, a red flag should go off in your head too. Another thing is you are going to subconsciously view other traders' profits as competition. Right? And you might be saying, oh no, I want everyone to win, yada, yada, yada. But deep down, right, you might not know it. But when you go online and let's say someone made money that day and you didn't, you're going to view their profits as competition. And this can lead to overtrading, right? You breaking a rule, a trading rule that you have. And so it's gonna cause these bad habits to form, especially if you're going online, looking at everyone's profits, real or not, and you're comparing yourself to them, right? So stop looking at social media, comparing yourself to other people, focus on you and yourself, your own journey, right? Everyone's at a different stage. The whole point is to arrive there in one piece, okay? The next thing, the third thing is strategy hopping, all right? And this is big. A lot of new traders are stuck in this cycle of going from strategy to strategy to strategy, hoping that the next one will bring them profitability or might give them a better edge than the previous one, right? And this is all a big lie, right? You have to find the best strategy that fits and resonates with your personality and your lifestyle. You wanna find a strategy that resonates with the type of trader that you want to be, okay? And the grass is always going to seem greener on the other side, okay? It's the same thing in relationships, right? You get with a girl and you, know, you get tired of her, right? And you see something better over here. But the reality is, that if you just worked on what you were working on in the first place and just stuck with it, right, then you might have been able to, one, become profitable with it, two, refine it and get even better at it. Your executions get better, your risk management gets better, your psychology gets better. But if you're constantly bouncing from strategy to strategy, then you're not gonna be able to get the time and the effort put into that singular approach to really refine it and really hone in on what you're good at, okay? So yes, you might have to bounce around in the beginning to find a strategy that resonates with you, but once you find that strategy, start tweaking it, right? Don't, don't completely abandon it and go try something else, right? You wanna give it that good try. You wanna give it that good college try, right? So in the end, you have to remember that this is an endless loop, okay? You need to stick with a strategy that resonates with your personality, that resonates with your lifestyle and the type of trader that you want to be. And so now the fourth thing, if you do decide to post online, is looking good versus actually being good, okay? And the majority of people online you see today, especially on Twitter and on social media, are just trying to look like a good trader and they're not focused on actually becoming a good trader, all right? And so, a personal example. When I began posting online on my journey and I started gaining a decent following, I found myself in this loop of trading for content, right? I was trading for likes. And I wasn't really focused on the process anymore. I was focused on how many likes can I get on a post if I post a crazy entry, right? And as a result, it would force me to overtrade, right? I wouldn't obey my rules. I'd get FOMO trying to post the move, say I caught this move, right? And as a result, it ends up damaging not only your capital, your risk management, but also your psychology, right? You're stuck in this dopamine loop of trading for likes and trading for engagement. And it's just not healthy, okay? Right? No one is going to help you make money, right? It's all in you. And so why do I care about what all these other people think online, right? Trying to keep up with the Joneses online, trying to get followers, likes, posts, engagement, when in reality, all that's doing is diverting your focus from your own trading. And you're putting it on the validation of others because you're seeking validation externally online from strangers. It doesn't make any sense, okay? And it's something that I was stuck in this loop 
of trying to trade for likes and trade for content for the longest time, especially as my following started to grow. And so I had to curb that, right? And the only way you can do that is by looking internally. And this is something that I love about trading because it forces you to look internally, right? And really self-analyze, okay, what are my faults? What am I doing wrong? Um, am I getting out too early, right? Is my risk management off? Is my psychology off? Is there something outside the charts that's affecting my ability inside the charts to perform? And so all these things you have to go through on your way to profitability, and it's a constant work in progress, right? You're constantly refining your approach. And so posting online is probably the worst thing to do, especially as you're, if you're a beginner, okay? Um, it's gonna have you trading for content instead of trading for yourself. Now, lastly, how do we overcome social media as traders and how can we use it to our advantage? Well, you have to remember, social media is a tool, okay? And if you use it the right way, it can be very beneficial, especially if you're new. Now, the easiest way to overcome it, just delete it, all right? Just delete the app off your phone or you can do what I do and that's limit your time on those apps, okay? I have the setting on the iPhone, right? On my iPhone. I have a setting that lets you go through and you can disable certain times of the day, right? Focus mode, all this stuff, I have it all set up uh, to my liking. So especially when I'm trading the markets, I have all the apps closed, right? No one can call me or text me. I'm fully locked in for those couple hours that I'm um, fully engaged in the market. And so that's one way to do it. You just limit yourself using a third party app or the settings on the iPhone, or if you're using Android, I'm sure they have something similar as well. But limit your time on there and you also need to reframe your mindset. We talked about this earlier. Reframing your mindset and remember that it's always been you versus you and me versus me, okay? I can't put food on your table. That's something only you can do. And so you need to not care about what everyone else is doing. Do your own thing, right? And then focus on your own development. Stop comparing yourself to others, all right? We've all done it. We still, I still sometimes do it, right? I still sometimes see someone's profits. I'm like, damn, I. I wish I got that move and you know, maybe I should FOMO into the next move, right? And it's something you have to catch yourself from doing. So reframe your mindset. Remember, it's always been you versus you and then focus on becoming 1% better each day, okay? It's always been you versus you. And so if you're focusing on someone else's journey or someone else's progress, right, then you are not focusing on yourself. And that means that you're not doing the things you need to do to become the trader you want to be, okay? So it's important to remember you are your only competition and that social media will hinder you if you do not limit yourself and restrain yourself and use it the right way. Remember, it's all a tool and it's here to help you if you use it properly. If you like the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.